Ahoy ahoy crew, let's forage in Monster Hunter 2. What do we get from foraging? Foraging provides you with various plants from around the Savage Coast. You can then turn those plants into consumables that you can use on the island, such as healing, damage increasing, and damage reducing potions. To start foraging, you have to speak with Rami on the Savage Coast. She will give you the foraging skill and various quests to improve your foraging level. Foraging is the easiest activity on the Savage Coast. You simply walk up to a glowing node of any plant and click interact. You will get your items and can continue searching for more nodes. You can only collect once from a node before it deactivates, unless you find a rare node. A rare node allows you to take multiple times from the same node and gives you an increased amount of items each time you take from it. Finding rare nodes is easiest in a party, since when you find a rare node, a message is displayed to everyone on the map with its location. That way you increase your chances of getting more items. When foraging, it is best to always stay energized. To get the energized buff, you have to go to one of the camps and eat some soup. This will give you the buff for 5 minutes. With the energized buff, you will receive double the number of items when foraging. When foraging on the Savage Coast, you have a low chance of spawning a Sprout Ring. This is needed for one of the level 3 foraging quests. You can use Interact on the Sprout Ring to attack it. After 4 hits, it will explode and drop stacks of random foraging items onto the ground. There are 9 types of nodes on the Savage Coast, and they are locked behind different levels of the foraging skill. Level 1 foraging lets you find blue mushrooms, medicinal herbs, and insect husks. Level 2 foraging lets you find citron, adamant seeds, and mite seeds. Level 3 foraging lets you find golden flowers, nitro shrooms, and zap shrooms. The items gathered from foraging allow you to create various potions and tools to be used in battle against great monsters on the Savage Coast. So let's go through all the ones that currently exist. Hunter's Potion restores 3% max HP every second for 10 seconds. Mega Hunter's Potion restores 7% max HP every second for 10 seconds. Max Potion restores your HP to full and increases your max HP by 5%. Life Powder restores 35% max HP to all party members in a 7x7 area around you. Dash Juice quadruples your SP regeneration, reduces variable cast time by 10%, and drastically increases your movement speed. Demon Extract increases all damage you deal by 7%. Stone Skin Extract reduces all damage taken by 7%. Scout Flies tags a nearby great monster, allowing you to track them when they teleport away, as well as increase damage dealt to that monster for 5 minutes. Farcaster returns you to the main camp when you use it. This can be used from anywhere on the Savage Coast. Psycho Serum reveals the location of all great monsters and primal monsters for 20 seconds. Shock Trap will incapacitate any monster that steps on it for a short time. Large Barrel Bomb deals massive damage to all nearby enemies after exploding. Flash Bomb will disorientate monsters in the range of its explosion for a short time. Herbal Remedy cures Poison, Silence, Blind, Confusion, Hallucination, Curse, Bleeding, Orchid, and the Change Undead status. In order to craft these items, you can open the Hunter's GMD to find the recipes. Then use the Combination Kit to mix them together. Note, there is no chance to fail when combining ingredients. That's all you need to know about foraging. If this guide helped you, subscribe to the channel, share this video with friends, and I'll see you in the next video.